Welcome to another episode of Hair of FC here in Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the start of the new season, 2035-2036. We are playing in a Skybet Championship. Very exciting. Very first at a time in this league. So um, yeah, we're going to take you through the transfers and I've played a couple of matches already so we're going to uh, show you that as well. So if we go back onto the schedule can see that we've not been able to win anything ever just yet so we're struggling right from this from the um from the first match uh losing 2-0 against qpr who were the league winners for the league we were in before sky Bad league one and we also lost for the carabao cup against a team we sh really should have won against there um in sky Bad league one in 12 but they just been promoted to that so um, yeah, so not doing so well so far. We're going to play Wigan, and I'm guessing because they're so high up the league, we, we're also going to lose against them. So we am expecting, well, I, th I, th I think we're going to get relegated straight away. But anyway, let's, let's see how the season goes. Now, for, as far as transfers, actually, let me take us to finances first. We did okay in the off season to um, gather about a million most of that came from um, season tickets and we basically sold the entire stadium in season tickets that's how much money we made um, not quite the entire stadium but nearly uh, over 4,000 season tickets so that was pretty good uh, we also made slightly more money in sponsorship and we will eventually make more money in TV revenue throughout the season so that's good um, in terms of transfers, I'm still working on some staff, so we'll leave that. Um, we freed a few players. Oh, I thought we did. Hmm. Released players, there we go. We had a lot of released players because I just wanted to slim down. All of these players obviously were out of contract. And uh, Kai actually decided to leave. I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to keep him to be honest. But he decided to leave. But everyone else I released on a free contract. And some of the, those players are first team players. So we'll we'll see what the replacements are. But we didn't actually make any transfers out as far as cash transfers. So so we, we didn't make any money on that. We spent the most, I think, of any season before on, uh, on players. So I'm going to start with the goalkeepers. Obviously last year we had two goalkeepers on loan, so this year um, we had to find new goalkeepers and we have two on loan again. So David Beckhoff, Irish player from Nottingham Forest and Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough is loaning him to us. And we had Thato before um, for a year on loan on Skybet League 2, another year on loan in Skybet League 1. And he's back again on loan now. Um, he's still with Burnsley. Uh, but yeah, he was at Brad uh, Bradford City before. We'll see how he does this season. He did well when he, when he was with us before. But obviously, this is a, a higher league than he's ever really played in. So we'll see how he does. On the right side of the fence, one new player. And that is Jamoli Baldeo. He's a Canadian young player who was playing for Man United originally and then he moved to Millwall and he's been on loan a couple of a couple of seasons but he hasn't really played at this level before. On the left side of the fence, Lucas. Where is Lucas? Lucas Docker. English player who has always played for Eeps Fleet. He's uh, playing at the highest level than ever before as well. No changes in central defense. We still have Murray and uh, I think his first name is Jamai. And we also have Jaden Lott and Luke Bell. Not Luke Bell. Lewis Alsop. Luke Bell, actually. I wanted to get him on loan again, but he didn't accept. So that's okay. Also, no changes for the defensive midfield. Ethan Hill and Chris Austin are still about. But we have two new middle um, midfield centre back, um, 
Center midfield, there we go. We have a very old player, but I think it could be quite good. Alejandro Z uh, Zendejas is um, an American player, but he's played for a long time in Mexico, and I think he probably has Mexican origin, maybe. Um, so yeah, so he played in the MF um, MLS for Dallas, that's his origin. Then he went to Mexico, Chivas, America, and then he was in Scotland for a little bit, Italy for another little bit, Burnsley, and then back to the US, Minnesota, and we have him on loan for, for eight months actually, not the whole season, but eight months. Um, and then the other player, we actually bought Kamari Do Doyle, a real life player still from South Southampton. And he was on loan, Turkey, then he was sold to Bromley, uh, and that's when he started playing for the main teams. So he played for Bromley for three seasons, and then uh, Tranmere for a few seasons, and now he's with us. But he's not really played at the Skybat Championship level before. On the right side of attack, we still have our usual Adam O'Shea, bless him, he's still about. And we managed to secure a second year of loan for Dave as well, so he's back with us again on a new loan. Uh, on the left side of attack, we have Stephen Green as a loan. Uh, he's a new player. Uh, we still have Kieran, but yeah. Steve Green from uh, Aston Villa. He's now with Luton, and he was last year on loan with Chelmsford. And then finally, in attack, no changes except obviously Kai left. So we went and got Tyler Winters again. So he was relegated to the reserves team, but now he's back with us again. The reserves team is actually not looking too bad because it absorbed some of the players that I didn't want to get rid of completely. One of them being David Evans, our, uh, one of the center midfields, and also Tyler Jardine. So hopefully they will develop a bit and help the team to develop as well. They haven't played for the season yet. Uh, youth or youth has played for the season, and they are doing okay so far. Right, so we're gonna play against Wigan, and I'm going very defensive for this one, and we're gonna see how the game goes. I'm still a little bit ill. So hopefully the voice will come out okay in the recording. Apologies for that. We're really stretching some of these players. Adam Oshia is one of them where he really should never have left the Vanarama Leagues. But here he is in Skybet Championship. going to be a great season with lots of full stadiums because um, I can't remember exactly what the number was but it was well above 4,000 season tickets sold so with some extra tickets and you know away attend away visitors as well uh, we're gonna basically sell out every match I think which will be good so I think so far we have In fact, I don't know how many matches we played at home. Let's have a look. Schedule. This is our first home match. There we go. So, yeah.
poor pass from Hill. going to be a tough season I think but we're doing a lot better financially than I thought I forgot about all of that um, extra money that could come from season tickets but that's not going to help us throughout the rest of the season I don't think because obviously now they've paid for their tickets we're not going to, we might not get as much gate receipts or, or maybe we will I don't know what ticket prices are like but yeah that's, that's okay, that's helped us a little bit to maintain a float. I asked for some, well actually the youth facilities are being developed. So that's one bit of news. We're going to have slightly better youth facilities come October. for an expansion of the stadium. Essentially our balance here now is to try and make enough money that even if we get relegated we have enough funds to come straight back up and come stronger. So maybe win the league or something. I've got no hopes for staying in this league actually. I think we'll, we will get relegated, but I think if we do things right, we can get promoted straight away again. been very position 24th place yep 24th place with six goals suffered this league so it's going to be a tough one I think we'll catch up again around January and we'll see how it, how it, how it went thanks so much for watching until the end and if you want to support the channel you can also check out the patreon take care bye bye